Hey guys, guys doing? <laughs> What's up, man? Not much. All right, we're gonna have to do this. Back up along the wall. Get it as tight as you can. Cause if one catches fire, we want them all to burn down. Okay. Uh, fill this out. Stay with your car until the judges come out to judge it. All right, cool. All right. Yep. Oh, it's pigging. Oh, it's pigging. Look at it. This thing's a fucking piece of shit. It's gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh man. <laughs> Pull it back out. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> So for some reason, I decided to do this rally again. And the mice are in our glove box, so this is our glove box now. We have the ashtray. That's yep, it. that's all you need. Drop the front stairs window with this. Here's our, our chariot, KC63 Impala. It's in immaculate condition. Yeah, do you want to give him the grand tour of all its luxurious features? Yeah, we have 13 inch wire wheels, knockoffs. They're already wearing on the white wall on the side. Custom fender bracket hold on there. Okay. It's not, not falling down now, yep. <laughs> this car was sitting in a field since 1979. He pulled it out like a few weeks ago. The motor was seized. He got it running, that's about where it ended. Got mud all in there yet. Yeah, it was soaked. It was sitting in mud. When we were in it, this rear bumper is like two inches off the ground. The cool thing is the first hit the ground is a gas tank when we're, when we're driving, it just scrapes. Some rust. Oh, hey, here's Jeff's here. <laughs> the window kind of does that. He fixed the interior. This is like a pet peeve of his. It's up the roof. It's full of mouse droppings. Ooh, the 18 band. But to dodge. It's ruined. Yeah, we just checked in. We're gonna attempt to actually do good at this this year. Oh, I forgot the organ pipe speaker covers, and the fuzzy stuff, even though there's no speakers. But yeah, we're gonna try and uh, try and give it hell this year with this thing. It's real bad though. It's a 230 inline six with an air-cooled power glide. There's no trans core lines. It's how they rolled back then. And uh, it rod knocks. It smokes pretty bad. But yeah, this is the start. We're gonna roll out of here soon so we can get rolling. We're not gonna mess around all like we did last year. Here's the uh, Roadrunner on the Mercedes chassis. Oh, it's good. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, man. There's no mosquitoes here. Jesus, man. on the Mustang, I think it's going to overheat. Camper Jetta. Pacer. Rusty Bug. Freaking Jaguar. Look at that. 
pit stop just topping off the oil just leave that in there do its thing for a while <laughs> while we're still uh, draining the oil that's like three quarters full I put this fancy air cleaner on not because not to filter the air but the freaking thing whistles the whole time you have it cracked I found this so that's good it's a nice you know precision fit the whole carburetor is rocking on the intake behind us. Maybe they think we know where we're going. That's a, that's a foolish mistake. So we have our first like meeting checkpoint of the day, which we're in Ocean City to do something. Fuel injection rules! It yep. rules! That was, he has a slight issue with my uh, YouTube moniker. <laughs> nonsense gonna happen here so we're walking to the ocean so someone from each team can go in the ocean with our mascot our mascot's the wheel I didn't even realize the sand's gonna suck oh it's all kinds of bad Oh, this is dumb. It is frigid. There's our wheel. Take this. It's your energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why are you gonna wear socks? Nice, Joe. Get your white socks around. All right, dude. Just run in there, Josh. Oh, God. Why is our official customs a bunch of autists? Why? But he wore socks! 
I bet he wears socks when he fucks. <laughs> I feel like I'm in H2O without being arrested. Yeah. Look at that fast back. That's badass. Check out our hood situation. It's probably like this right now. rigidity here. Bungee cords and ratchet straps. First hotel we came to, someone abandoned a Rolls Royce. Like it's blatantly abandoned. Flat tire, right hand drive. Oh, the hood's even been opened. Shit, someone's in it. So, a plate on it. Yo, it has European plate. Oh, that's cool. This is decent, too. That's really odd. Like, just to be here. It's a decent car. It's probably someone that works for the hotel. You can tell because it has like the Euro uh, side yeah. view mirrors on it. That's just fucking obliterated. Yeah, there was no parking in the hotel here because all of our garbage is here. So they just told them to park here on the corner in the line. Well, it's start day two. We're getting out to the balls of dawn here, six in the morning. Go to our first destination. Casey's about to give it the old, the old cold start. He says it's gonna be good. I haven't witnessed it yet. Oh, it's low, dude. Don't start it. Nope. Oh, it's, it, it, it's whisper quiet. That's what it's showing on the stick. You hear the rod That's a quarter right, low. Little guy. Little We're going to make it. Get that. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Get that fucking hood off. So we're driving, and we, like, accidentally found the, the grave digger place. I don't know what it is. Digger's diner? Whatever. It's too early. I don't think anyone's here yet. Here's a truck he just keeps hitting posted on the internet. We'll probably stop back at this later. So the first thing we gotta do is at the Wright Brothers National Memorial. You're supposed to make your mascot fly. This wasn't well thought out because ours is the wheel and tire, so we're just putting the Red Bull on it to give it wings. And then Casey's gonna throw his spleen out, trying to throw this tire as far as he possibly can. All right, is it how far it goes or how? Where would you throwing it? Where would we do this then? Start from here. Okay. Really, so the can over there at the wall, that's the right that's the fly. For flying, yeah. For that's flying. definitely not going to fly. So you're going for a heat and frustration, which is the edge of the grass at the end of the side. 
Wait, where? Where's Corey at? Corey. Ready. Make sure it doesn't go to the street. Go over well, there. it might roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a couple guys over here. Where are you aiming for? I am. No, but he, who, who had the record for heaving it, he said. Where are these at? How much you bitch? <laughs> you even live, bro? You ready? Where's the other record? pictures in front of as many as they put scenic ass lighthouse lighthouses as we can. So here we are. This one's scenic ass lighthouse. There's a the car. It's running great. Here we are at uh, scenic ass lighthouse number two. Cape Hatteras lighthouse. We're booking to the ferry right now. Here we are on the I think we're on the Hatteras Island ferry. I think. Or on has I don't know. Anyway, about to go on a ferry. Lo and behold, there's other other lemons cars here. The Buick. Some station wagon. The Chevette's up there. And like the 50 whatever Chevy trucks up there. The Rover is here. His freaking uh historical landmark doodad. Yeah, right now we're just waiting in line for the ferry. People with the ferry are probably wondering what the hell's going on. All this garbage is waiting to get on it. I'm gonna take a moment here to show you some of the other finer features of this car since I really didn't get a chance to when we initially started. So, like I said, this was drug out of a field it's been sitting since like 1979. It was sitting up to the rear bumper in mud. Uh, the motor was seized. Casey and his friend uh, like filled the motor with diesel and some other goodness and unseized it, cleared some of the gunk out, had to change some gaskets, the lifters and the rockers were frozen, had to unfreeze those. The roof was completely caved in here. Like into the door and everything, you see the trim still bent, but they said that was completely caved in. So they fixed that. Uh, the fenders were just destroyed. He borrowed the nose, I think he said, off of a 409 car, like the grill and these fenders. They're on loaner. Uh, the hood was blowing up when we were driving it, so it has these straps on it. Actually, the, it's not the hood. I lie. It's the skin of the hood. The actual hood frame is still attached to with the latch. The actual sheet metal that goes over that is actually pulling off the frame of the hood and blowing up. Yeah, it's a nice feature. We got off the first ferry and now we're getting ready to go on the second ferry. First one was 40 minutes. I think this one's like two hours or something. But we're at the Ocracoke ferry. I think this is going to Cedar Island or something or Mon Cedar Island. I don't really know at this point. The other one, look at it. Oh, it's big. Cool. Probably just two hours. This one is wider. That's fine. <laughs> Good. Thank you.
Eiffel Tower. Well, relatively tiny, I guess. Motor's done. Still got oil pressure, so. Just run on like, seriously, three strong. Oh, it's not happy. It's fine. It's fine. It's clearing up. No, it's not. survived the biggest U-Haul I've ever seen in my entire life. Now they wouldn't tell me if they had a truck or a trailer. There's currently about 50 tow dollies over there and you know more than enough trucks. So let's see if they actually tell me if they have one or not. I would like to thank U-Haul for loaning me this fine 15 foot van and car dolly in which I am going to tow nothing else other than the 1995 Pontiac Grand Am that I agreed upon. We made it to the auto zone. I think we're in Forest Hills. I don't know what state we're in. I can't remember this. But cars off the trailer. We have a new motor. Dude that sold us motor. Loses his hoist and his chain. We have hopefully the parts we need. So let's see how long this takes. Right now it is 212. The afternoon. Set your clocks. We're off, the, we're off that. We're off the trans pretty much. That's important. That's yep. Get the exhaust off? Yep. Alright, it's coming out. Pull that hoist from all your head. Just pull the hoist from all There you go. Stop for a second, pull it back out a little bit now. Make her spit on it. <laughs> spit on a little bit. This mount. Looks like it's been replaced pretty recently. <laughs> it's completely like, ripped. Yeah, I think Corey was over exaggerating the quality of the mount a little bit to us. You just want to lay down there and see for yourself. Parking lot. Here we go. It is 5:45. Like 2:10 or 2:14 or something like that. Like three and a half hours. So let's watch three. We did it three hours. Yeah. Like should start right up. We didn't really tear into it too hard either. Jumper. Corey.
go. So while he's letting it run, this is like a, this is a 1970 $250, but it has HEI ignitions and got rid of the points. We had to do some sketchy wiring though because there's no hots in the fuse box. But I had to put plug some wires in it. Some knocking, an improvement. Use the car from the other motor. So it's junk. Here it is, guys. Put it in. It's rigged, but it works. Here, old man. We got a uh, reminiscent of the rally from last year. We're back on the road. Car runs. Runs pretty good. Waffle House. And uh, I don't know. Now we have to start doing our actual uh, checkpoints for the day. It's 7 o'clock at night. So we're in the lead as of this morning. We're going to try and keep it that way. Just sucks that we're doing it 12 hours after we hit our first checkpoint of the day. Time to really uh, cram some coffees in and lay it down. It's day four. We're somewhere in Tennessee. There's the Rover V8. Oh my god, it has no compression. Things great. Anyway, car survived. It's running good with its new improved power plant. Yesterday, Casey changed the steering wheel because I uh, forgot to mention the power steering pump from the 230 didn't fit on the 250. Probably because the year difference, so we lost power steering. So, yeah, we have that. And. The fuse box in his car is like messed up. So I couldn't find a wire that was both hot when you're cranking it, like when you're starting it with the key and when running. So it would turn off one way or the other. So to power the ignition, we just had to connect these wires together and then pull it apart to kill it. Here we are at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, Tennessee. We didn't make it to this last year. We're so screwed with the wheel bearings breaking. So this is like the official, I guess, like what the rally is named after. Is ending here. Even though there's a few more stops. But here it is. We actually like did something this year. The car is still running good. Giant aluminum rocker statue man. Look, we made it. We're pulling in right now. Barber Motorsports Park. In Alabama. Victory honk. Stop sign, and then there's the finish. <laughs> there we go. We actually made it during the <laughs> during the during the day this year. I got most 